Every time I've taught this message, I've taught it from the standpoint of the man who was lame, like who they let down on a cot through the roof, the man who was lame that they laid by the gate called Beautiful that couldn't walk. But all of a sudden, God gave me a new revelation with this, and I don't think this man was in the position of not being able to walk. The word asthenia and the word infirmity means this, a sickness or weakness, you've got to hear me tonight, in your mind... Or your body. So it could have been that he was feeble in his body, but I really believe is this man was too familiar with the familiar, and I believe that the weakness and feebleness that he was having in his body was created by his mind because what you believe in your mind, it says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And I believe that Jesus came by a place called mercy and grace and a place of flowing water, the spotless Lamb of God, when this man was laying on a bed in a place that had five porches that represented death and desperation and introduced a new thought to him. If you want to be made well, then quit looking at the water. If you want to be made well, then quit complaining about someone stepping in front of you. If you want to be made well, then for God's sake, turn away from that and walk the opposite direction and see what? I can do. <laughs> Repentance just sim simply means to turn. So it means I'm looking at the pool, but I'm going to turn and have a change of mind that produces a change of heart, that produces a change of direction. And I was walking this way, but now I'm walking this way. I was blind, but now I see. I was lost, but now I'm found. I've had a change of mind and a change of heart and a change of direction. And it's all because of a person named Jesus. Jesus.